Hello everybody, it's Geobug and welcome back to another Stardew Valley Jojo Mart run. Today we're going to be going through days 39 through 47. This is episode 5. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting off on day 39, day 11 of our summer, we check our mail and we get a nice cake from mom. Thank you mom for the nice pink cake. Then we find that our forgeables seeds have been grown up and ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and harvest all of those and then of course we use our daily tasks of watering then we head on out down to the luau and we have a nice dance with Emily and for our ingredient we just had a cauliflower silver tier cauliflower we'll go ahead and throw that in the pot and then we'll go ahead and talk to the governor and Mayor Lewis, and we'll get the luau started. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put a high quality ingredient in there. I did. Sometimes I like to goof around and put something silly in there, but this time we went for the good food. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Well, I'm glad we could uh, give you what you needed, Governor. And it looks like he's pretty happy with it. Very pleasant soup. Doesn't look like it's astounding, but he says it's pretty good and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. I want some soup. That sounds good. Luau was a success. Good thing I brought a good ingredient. Time to head home. Then once we get home, we decide to go ahead and make a whole bunch of wild seeds because we are still using the tea sapling method to make some money. Then we plant some more so that we can keep growing. And that's that day 39. On to day 40. It's day 12 of summer. We start by watering our melons head on over to Gunther's and we're going to turn in a couple of items here. We've got the skull and a bone and that's going to give us a new reward of the skeleton. Then we head on over to the mines. We go from 75 to 80. If we make it to 80, we get these nice dark boots here. I like the dark boots. Not only do they look cool, but they're really strong. And we go ahead and decide to put our boots on. So we swap out for the rubber boots. And then we head on home. Come out of the cave there. And we're going to go check on our chick to see if it's hatched. And good news, a new baby chick has hatched. And we're going to take that name away. And we're going to start naming our chickens after one of my favorite shows, Bob's Burgers. So we go with Tina, of course. Come in, check on little Tina. She's trying to sleep. I'm not really sure what I attempted there, but that's okay. So on day 13, I somehow forgot to record. Uh, so rest in peace, day 13. Sadly, that's the best day I've had in Stardew in a long time. We found a giant melon. We got a lot accomplished. We did die in the mines, but such is life. On day 41, when you check the mail, we get the quest from Pam for the pale ale and we grab all of our batteries from the storm on day 13 that we missed and then we water our crops over here at Clint's we just buy a whole bunch of gold ore because I didn't feel like mining for it we're doing that to buy to bake sprinklers we head on up to Joja and we buy our mine carts finally then we head back on over to the mines. And we do a bit of mining. We get to floor 88 and we realize that we do not have any food to keep going. So we go ahead and use a warp totem that we found to come on home. And here you can see Robin is working on the silo that we purchased on day 13. And Morris and his boys are working on the minecarts. Thank you, Morris. Thank you, gentlemen. 
get those all ready to go and start using those soon. Here we get level 5 combat. So I take a minute just to try to decide, mm, do I want fighter, do I want scout? And I do pick fighter. But we're taking a while because I got on the Stardew wiki and just kind of wanted to see what each path led to. And this is a good time to remind everybody, if you're liking the video, if you like the content, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified, and drop a like on the video. So that's day 14 of summer, day 41 overall. We make a nice little profit off some tea saplings. And on to day 42. Here we get a nice gift from Emily. We're getting her friendship parts up well. We stop and say hi to Tina. And then we go ahead and we're just clearing out some of this to get some hay to put in the silo. There's plenty left for little Tina there. And we're good to go. Then we stop on over to Clint's and we had a bunch of geodes piling up our inventory. So we decided to come on over. We got a couple of things we didn't have. Lots of things we do. And we drop those off. We've actually, we actually do this twice in this day. I just didn't put it in the video. We get lots of new rewards. Here we go. We got some pumpkin seeds. We go ahead and we do grab the pumpkin seeds because we can use those soon. Then we stop on over to the beach and we collect a whole bunch of shells. We're going to need this rainbow shell because we started the Mr. Key quest a little while ago. And we finally got a rainbow shell to go drop off in the bin at the train station. Then we go on up to Willie's shop. And we sell all that stuff except for we keep our one rainbow shell. And we stop on over to see Emily for the day. We know eating healthy is very important to you, Emily. We give her a nice gift. And then we're checking our friendship, and that bring, brought us up to level 9 friendship. So we should be able to marry her soon. And we stop on over to Piers. We sell off some extra forageables that we have. And we buy one hops starter because we need to make the pale ale for Pam's mission and then we go ahead and buy the backpack I said you know what we have the money I'm tired of the inventory being bogged down so we go ahead and we buy the big backpack then on up to the train station to drop off that rainbow shell to the empty box let's put it in there you threw the shell in a note drop down well done and we're gonna check our journal Next, we have to place 10 beets in Mayor Lewis's fridge, so we'll be growing those soon. We go ahead and we grab a bunch of mushrooms from our cave. Then we finish watering our plants. And that's day 42. We make a little bit of profit, nothing crazy. And on to day 43, of course, we start off by watering our crops. And it looks like our peppers are ready, so we're going to go ahead and collect all of those. Then a bit more clearing out of our farm. And it looks like Tina has grown up already, so we give her a nice pat. Come on up, let's grab our mushrooms. Then back down into the mines, we make it to floor 90 and we get a nice obsidian edge. And I had bought a bone sword, I believe on day 13. At some point I bought a bone sword and uh, now we can switch so we have the nice obsidian edge to take care of us now and then instead of moving on that day I just decided to go ahead and start farming for more fiber down on floor 21 again <clears throat> it's a really good floor for farming fiber you do get a lot down farther in the mines but that's a good floor so we got level 7 forging, we finally have the tree fertilizer, which is going to help us grow all those trees we need to grow. Our peppers give us a nice little bit of profit, as well as the mushrooms. 3,500 gold that day. Moving on to day 44, looks like our wheat is ready. We had planted a bunch of wild seeds, so wheat today. Moving on, of course we have to water our plants. 
Oh, the daily tasks of a farmer. Now that we stop by Marnie's to give her a nice diamond, she likes diamonds really well. Swing by Gunther's to donate some more to the museum. And we, we gave a diamond to Marnie because we need to be friends with her to get Mayor Lewis's shorts. Stop back by the beach to go ahead and grab some more forageables. And of course we drop those off as well. Then we decided to start chopping some trees that I had planted over here in Cinder Snap Forest. Awesome. We swing by the bar to hand Emily another gift. We stop by and see Tina, but she's sleeping. But she has produced some good eggs for us, so we're going to go ahead and take those. And then I had some extra hay in my hand, so we went ahead and dropped that off. A little bit of profit that day. And moving on to day 45. And it looks like the peppers from our wild seeds are ready, so we'll collect those. And our forageables are ready again, so we're going to collect all of those as well. I like growing these, these forageable seeds because they grow really fast. And you just get a lot from them. You can just keep making them very sustainable. And then, of course, we go ahead and make some more wild seeds. And back on down into the mines. And right here on floor 93, we got some genie shoes. I had never seen those before. We don't switch them out because I like the dark boots better, but they're a very cool shoe. On day 96, I got this floor with a, a whole bunch of mushrooms. Just look at all that. I've never seen a floor with so many mushrooms before. And then we do get to floor 100 for the nice star drop. A lot of, a lot of firsts for me in this particular run you found a star drop remind you of mead make almost 5,000 gold there that's a good one moving on to day 46 our peppers are ready again so we collect those back down into the mines for some fiber foraging here on our farm we're chopping some trees and that was pretty much the day, a pretty boring day. But we did get level 6 mining and we can make the big bombs now. We did make a whole bunch of saplings. 28,000 profit. I cannot stress to you guys how much you can make off of tea saplings. Moving on to day 47. We accept this quest from Demetrius to give him a melon. We have one right here. I've been saving it for this exact purpose. We run on over and we accept a quest from Sandy because it's 2200 gold. We grab some forageables because it's Saturday. And then we stop on over to Demetrius to give him his melon. Perfect. We make a nice 550 gold from that. Then we stop on over at the Joja Mart. And we're going to go ahead and buy the greenhouse today. That's going to help us a lot from here on out. Then we go to the desert and we give that star fruit to Sandy. We had one star fruit. I'm glad I bought it. And that's a nice 2250. Easy money. Then we go back to Robin's house and we buy a fish pond. We put that right next to the silo. We're not looking for aesthetics in this run. It's going to be a pretty short run because we're just trying to complete the Joja Mart. Then I do attempt to try to fish out some lava eels and I fail miserably. I didn't catch a single one. And here at the end of the night, Morris and his boys are fixing up our greenhouse. Thanks again, Morris. And we got a level 8 farming, we can now craft the keg. Amazing. That'll help with that pale ale. A little bit of profit, nothing big. And that was it, guys. If you liked that video, 
I've got way more to come. We're going to be doing some 100 day videos. I also stream Coral Island at least once a week. Uh, so if you like the video, if you like the channel, please uh, drop a like on the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for all my videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.